Ugh. The victimless crime, the victimless crime. Why do you go after these guys? They're just harmless liars. They just tell lies. No, no, they don't. No, they don't. Hmm. Terrible, man. Hi, Don. Hey, Laura. Hey, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I'll tell you what this is, girl. It's uh, one more roll of the dice. Yeah. And your sister, uh, it's your sister, correct? Yeah, my sister. She just got recently divorced over many months ago now and moved back here. Yeah, she's been real secretive the last year, and she's actually given all sorts of money to weird things that are other scams, we think for sure. Um, but yeah, she's just kind of in trouble. <laughs> Very naive. And yeah. loads of well, this becomes one more roll of the dice. Maybe this time it will happen. And I'll do it again. And then, you know, one more roll of the dice. I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. I'll do it again. Uh, I deal with this stuff on a daily basis with these uh, gals. He's, uh, she's wrapped up with a terrible con man who is just bilking mm -hmm. her out of everything uh, mm -hmm. with these seal claims. And I feel terrible for you. Does, does she know this guy or it's only by correspondence? Yeah, just by correspondence, she's never even spoken to him on the phone, and I just can't believe that she would be so dumb to believe these stories, and that he hasn't showed up three times, and that she's making my parents pressure to, oh, don't kill my dream, and we're going to be married, and he wants to be a minister, you know, he's going off of her Facebook with her talking about being Christian, or, you know, whatever. <laughs> he like, wants oh, to boy. be a minister. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he wants to be a minister, and he's got two. Evidently, I mean, I only know this information through my mom because she hasn't told me and my siblings directly, but she's upset that we know, of course. Um, um, but my mom said that she, they paid for her to fly somewhere that we thought was for some ministry thing that she was trying to start up. Or Anyway, um, and she wouldn't tell us about it, but just kept asking for more money from my parents, and she owes them a lot. Um, it's pretty terrible. Anyway, she's like, oh, I'm gonna, it's okay, I'm going to be a millionaire, and I'm going to pay you back in a, three months and all this stuff. So anyway, this, uh, she flew there. It was for evidently having to sign some paperwork, which I don't know what in the world that could be about, um, for this guy, because he said that he has $2 million that somebody's holding somewhere. So she went somewhere, which makes it seem like a terrorist group or something, and evidently saw it herself, some money and gold, and $2 million. I'm just like, it's probably obviously fake, but to go to that extent is really scary. Well, that's... I think that it could be... And, and you're... you're not naive in this no that's, that's <laughs> called a con. And my brother or not <laughs> yeah that's a scam a and they yeah, are like des they are designed to perfection you know they mm -hmm. are just so believable mm -hmm. and they are tough nuts to crack you know and i i deal with these uh, phony mm -hmm. seal scams and cons from doctors mm -hmm. psychiatrists really really mm -hmm. gifted gifted people uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, my world. sister's a nurse too. My mom's like, she's so smart. You think she would know? You know, she's top of her class. She's a nurse. So like, <laughs> yeah, people naive and being lonesome just really screws with your head and being through a bad marriage and stuff like that. So, well, the reason I said is I I sent you a letter of verification on David, even though you don't yes. know the spelling on his name. It's not hard for me to search David and see what comes up under. M C K I N L E Y, any of that. There's only um, or G Mc McLinley or anything like no, that. Yeah. There's nothing and you and I both know uh, that and I don't know how best to help you. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how to help her because, you know, I need to make her realize that it's true. So I, I'm planning to try to do some sort of intervention with your letter to show her that. And then if she tells me, oh, that's not the right spelling, then I could get back to you or something. Um, you can do that. Also like, or yeah, I'll get on the phone great. with you and uh, we'll do a three-way call with her. Oh, that would be great because, yeah, last time um, she got real upset and aggressive and actually scratched my sister and my dad and kind of spit on my sister like horrible because she's just so upset does that she have know, some, we're trying to kill her dream. <laughs> does she have any kind of uh, mental issues or anything? She's, no, she doesn't, but we always kind of, you know, she's always been a little bit, you know, off or something. I feel like she might have been in a little bit of like a mania by doing okay. all these things where she gave all this money away. She's like... 
Yeah, people don't like having the rug pulled out from underneath them or shown that they're, you know, have been conned. Right, and certainly so. in front of their family <laughs> that's been trying to tell them this and you take money from your parents who probably yeah. can't afford to be giving you any for uh, these no, crazy No, they're, they're retired and they're, you know, have a certain amount to live on. So they're actually trying to pull money out of their stocks to give her this he, his newest amount, he wants like $30,000 more, and I don't know how much he's given, and I'm just like, I can't believe you guys even went to your stock place to discuss it, you know, this is ridiculous, but she's making them feel real guilty, and this is my dream, and he's going to be a minister, and we're going to do all this great work, and... Oh, the religious <laughs> phonies, girl. Oh, right. he's a religious man, he's a holy man. I, yeah, I just right. dealt with a gal today... <laughs> A terrible imposter that's been uh, going on with her for over a year and got him on a dating website. And I'll tell you from my experience, uh, ChristianMingle.com is the worst dating websites for phonies. Really? Yeah. Uh, oh, he's a Navy yeah. SEAL and a Christian. He must be telling oh. the truth. And now this guy's going to start a ministry. Girl, he is pulling all the right <laughs> strings on her to build that trust. Yeah. I'll talk to your dad. I'll talk to her. Do my best to set the record straight, but she absolutely needs to cut that clown off. And uh, oh, that, I think that that would be helpful. She's just kind of very delusional, and I know, you know, well, she, she'll we can do a three-way call but, if you'd like. But yeah, I think that would be um, that would be wonderful. I'm not. Sure. I'm trying to think of the best way. My parents only live here half the year, so they're actually flying out tomorrow, and I wanted to make sure you guys don't give her any more money before you fly out, because I know she's pressuring you guys. So I wanted to have the proof. Before, wanna, is that the only place she's going to get the money right now? Yeah, basically. She's even borrowed money and asked everybody, all, me and my siblings, my aunts and uncles, friends, and she'd all say, I need the money at this exact time by 2 p.m., like a real weird thing. I need it today, you know. Do you want to put me on the phone with your dad and I'll set this record straight real quick, save um, everything he's worked for for a long time and the love of his daughter, for God's sakes. I know. Let me see how to add a call. Yeah, my parents, I know they have a whole list of things they're doing and they have like a tax appointment today. Let me look back at the text to see what time that is because my mom hasn't been, let's see, responding via text. So let me see. I know they had all these appointments and these doctor appointments before they take off tomorrow. Um, Hi, John, are you there? Yes, I am. Yeah, they're very came up so you probably don't want to leave it on the voicemail please. okay then why don't you uh give me a call back your sister's probably not the easiest one to deal with i can convince your dad in a pair of seconds of who i am and he mm -hmm. already he already knows this is bs it's uh right <laughs> you know he just can't put his quite put his finger on it but for the love yeah. of his kids and all that other stuff you call right. me back with kurt or gail kurt, yeah. now, because okay. I, I'll, I'll bet gail is probably the more intuitious one of the bunch. Right, <laughs> right. That she mm -hmm. has already smelled this as being BS. And uh, the guys are really good, but you girls are much, much better at this. Right. And if he cuts her off, at least that would be uh, a good start. So I'll be yeah. glad to help you with it. I sent that letter of verification. We don't know the correct spelling, but you and I both yeah. know that's a big load of bullshit. Oh, yeah, it sure is. Me and my siblings are just going crazy, like, oh my gosh, so I heard that, is there really a Google facial recognition? I heard that you can take, like, if she allows us to have this guy's picture, I've never seen him. My mom, of course, like, oh, he's real good looking and handsome and muscular. I'm like, I'm sure he is. <laughs> my parent, um, anyway, that you can put in a database that will pull up his, who he really is, that the picture was stolen, mm -hmm. so I'd like to do that if I could, too. If you have the pictures that. of it, I'm good with Google Images, but I don't know about the facial recognition thing. All these okay. scams start, and, uh, you know, if she has these things, I was just, uh, this is a mirror image of what I was going through an hour ago, and mm -hmm. she's probably talking to a skinny Nigerian. Is who right. she's talking to. <laughs> That's what I read, but they're all usually from Nigeria. Yes, and, and they work on these women for months and months and sometimes years to build that trust. And yeah. it's subtle things that they write. They write in the Queen's English sometimes about their regiment and SEAL team, or it's broken mm -hmm. English where it doesn't make sense. But they can uh, they can uh, never disclose their location. Everything's you know it's secret mm -hmm. and classified. They need money to get home. It just sounds like you know he's probably talking to. Um, I'm sure he is twenty. A bunch of twenty of people. your sisters uh, on a daily oh, yeah. basis. 
And just to think that she's gone broke, she gave all her money, you know, I don't know which, how much she gave where, because one, I don't know, she's real secretive, she's first, she's going to be involved in some, producing a big manuscript, and she's going to be the star, and then she's giving money to make a school in India or something, and (laughs) so I, I read online somewhere that they put you on a sucker list once you fall for one, and then they give, they sell your information to other scam artists, so I'm thinking that Maybe even this guy on her Facebook that's supposedly, you know, this, um, um, like doing ministry work and feeding the children, that maybe he's a scam artist too, because I heard she gave him $100,000 to start a school. Send me a little something if you have some pictures up there. But as I told this gal today, they're always good looking. They're always well, but they always fit the part. And it's these guys that uh, slink around Facebook things and they steal these guys. Oh, yeah. Pictures and put them up. I try to show own. my parents, you know, how easy it is to just hold and save somebody's picture. And my dad doesn't quite get it. He's going, no, but I saw a picture of him, and it looked like the picture of him and the other picture she showed me. And the, the his dad had a tracheotomy, um, you know, and his parent, it, it looked like it could be his mom and his siblings. I said, yeah. Dad, you don't get it. This person does exist, and that is their family, but that's not the guy. Like, my dad's just not quite getting it. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Well, one of the things that's been going on for a while is the picture of that guy holding up an I love you, you know, Laura letter, you know, and, mm-hmm. and he's some mm-hmm. in foreign country. And that girl, I showed her that, and, I, and she went off of me. I said, that's a fake picture. And she says, not a fake picture. That's taken in Afghanistan. He's holding up. He says he loves me. They <laughs> photoshopped that letter, uh, that picture into that. You know, they can do everything on these computers today to convince you. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. It doesn't have any crazy, fingers. But... You know, look at the picture closer. <laughs> look you know? close up. Are your eyes yeah. not very good? You need the glasses or a magnifier? Oh, my yes. goodness. Yeah, we, we just can't believe, I mean, that my sister, we know, knew she's always been naive, but we never thought she'd be this naive and stupid, really. It's well, just... your sister's got a little bit of greed in her, too. When they start waving, they, and they do, that two million bucks and to recoup this thing. I mentioned mm-hmm. doctors and lawyers, this guy uh, up in Michigan, uh, that he is so gifted, he's so good, uh, that he bilks these guys out of hundreds of thousands of dollars, these big guys. And he shows him text messages. He goes, oh, Hillary just texted me, said the money will be here tomorrow. And they go mm-hmm. out to an airport, and he goes, oh, Hillary just texted and said they can't land today. It'll be tomorrow. And it goes on and on and on. Text messages mm-hmm. from Hillary Clinton uh, because mm-hmm. he killed bin Laden. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just crazy oh, what goodness. people will fall for and believe. And both yeah, those really. guys were ruined financially by that phony, and he just moves on to mm-hmm. another guy. So, yeah. Okay. Some horrible people. Well, thanks so much, John. I appreciate it. That's the only All way right. this is really going to work. I send out letters of verification telling people uh, that so and so was never a Navy SEAL. But this one, the, some of these get really, really deep, and that's why you got the phone call from me. I got a soft spot spot for the ladies there that are being duped by these guys. You know, most of them are. Mm-hmm. You know, my neighbor, Bob Smith, is claiming to be a SEAL, and I'll just verify it. But then you got guys like this that are out there scamming. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's ter- tough. terrible people out there. It's a sad situation. But, yeah, um, thank you so much. This is the first step to try to make her realize, but we're just trying to decide, you yeah. know, how to how to do it. It's probably best not to just text it, the information to her or email her, which is probably be there in person and, you know, try to... I don't know. My dad's like, I'm afraid, oh, you know, she might hurt herself if she finds out this dream guy is not real. But like, she needs to come down to reality, though, and stop trying to give other people's money away or yours yeah. and just take care of her two little boys. They're three and five. That's right. Now she's uh, thinking right. of a better life for them, a better life for herself. That's how these guys roll. They are playing. Yeah. She is eating every shovel full of shit he throws at her. Mm-hmm. And it for the right crazy. reasons, you know, she's a decent, I'm sure she's a very fine woman and mm-hmm. just wants a better thing for everyone. And this guy is preying on her. He's a, mm-hmm. yeah, he's preying on her. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope to uh, get my, get a hold of my parents and hopefully get back to you today okay. and, um, in the next few hours. All right. Thanks so much, Don. I appreciate your call. You're very welcome. Have a good All day. All right. You have a great day. Bye. You too. 
the victimless crime, the victimless crime. Why do you go after these guys? They're just harmless liars. They just tell lies. No, no, they don't. No, they don't. Hmm. Terrible, man. Um, and he opened it, and it was all tin foil wrapped like money, supposedly, and and no, and he took a, he took a sample, and he was washing the money, and washing it, and processing it, and then he showed that they're all defaced money defaced that he said that no he said that's how the big rich people and you know can get money in and out of the country even trump and stuff right without yeah. it being seen because without it being seen I yeah like i didn't either but they erase it with some chemical solution and then if you wash it in water and different chemicals then then you can see the face they brought a big trunk. They open it up, what do you see? It was sort of like a bundles of money or whatever, but they all like covered with black. So things. bundles of black bills. Yes, yes. Police call it the black money trick. Two huge men Two show up. Two big guys show up with a, with a crate of money. Exactly. But it's all dyed black. It's all dyed black. But the scammers have an explanation for that. As apparently they had to dye it black to smuggle it out of Africa. Exactly. And they explained to her that this money now has to be reconverted into usable money. And the only way to do that is to dip it into this very extremely expensive chemical in order to make the money legal so that you can use it. Sergeant Perez says most of the so-called money is just plain black paper. But in a magic trick fit for Houdini, he showed us how the thieves convinced Shireen that the money was real by washing a couple of select bills before her very eyes. And he cleaned two bills. And when he cleaned those bills, what was revealed? It was $200. $200 bill. Yeah, US. Real $100 bill. Exactly. They hand her the money so that she can, for the first time, see and feel the money in her hands. And they go so far as to telling her, hey, listen, you don't have to take our word for it. Take this money and go out to the store and go spend it so that they can really convince her that this money is so real and it's all right there. Of course, it's all a trick to get more money. The scammers use simple supplies, Elmer's glue and some iodine to put a black coating on a couple of real bills. After it dries, the black is easy to wash off. But the thieves say they're using special chemicals, and they're very expensive. So it's another big fee to pay before you can actually spend your fortune. Hi, Don. Yes, hi. Hi, Don. I'm so sorry. I know it's 8 o'clock there, so you might have already been getting ready for bed. No, I'm fine. What can I do for you? Okay, um, I was just calling because my parents, you know, are leaving tonight, and I couldn't reach them yesterday. They were so busy with their appointments and then we just uh, talked to my sister and read her your note and everything and she's a little emotional as you want um, so I thought maybe you could talk to him a little bit if Kurt I put you on speaker. Uh, Kurt and Gail right? Yeah. Okay. Well my sister Julie's in the room but she doesn't really want to talk to me. Talk to my dad. Here's Don. Uh, Hi Don. Yeah Hi. I just uh, heard, heard a father of Julie. And uh, we just read over that uh, two-page letter that you sent to us. I really appreciate that. But, uh, I mean, this is, Julie's right next to me. She's kind of distraught with this coming out. Because it sounded like uh, they were so much in love and he was going to marry and all come. He's been going to come the last two or three weeks and he never comes. Plus, he never gives us, I asked yesterday, I said, I want a phone number of him directly and a phone number of his mother in uh, Massachusetts or something because he was supposedly given an inheritance of two million dollars from his grandfather and then we heard the mother was hawking her four or five hundred dollar ring for 140 bucks to get by the the father you know had a uh, tracheotomy and we saw a picture of the family it looked like and she he did have a tracheotomy in there and uh, so but anyway I, I said if the father or mother it would have to be their father then they gave it if they gave him two million they obviously would have given the their daughter or father probably three or four million. And they have to do with the U.S. government. You tell them that. But, okay, she just telling me he's 
right now. He's currently in custody of the U.S. with, with the U.S. government, and some about they won't release the two million dollars, even though to put he's putting in Julie's name supposedly, and they had to get and to that, that money yeah. is supposedly yeah. in customs. Yeah, in terms of you tell that little bit. Okay, that money supposedly in customs in San Francisco, and now the delegate he had two delegates going to Washington D.C. or something with him or alone to petition that he get out of the SEAL service after 10 years or something. He signed it for 10 more years, and they charged money. They had to, we had to send them really money to transport them, airfare and stuff, and to Washington, D.C., and they were successful in getting them out from Washington, D.C., and now who's ever, and somebody, one of, those, one of those was supposed to deliver that big money to Julie and get her name, but now supposedly when he found out that it was two million dollars. Now instead of eighteen million or something, or eighteen not million thousand, he now wants thirty nine thousand because it's such a large amount or something. But it transferred. I don't know what. But it, it's we thought it was so uh, fishy. That's why we're checking out. We didn't want to hurt our daughter, but we didn't want her to get hurt. And I mean, we can never. She's never talked to him in person. It's just all these texts. But she's kind of sad right next to it. You know more than me. Just say, you don't want to talk. But, okay, I'll, I'm sorry. Let me, I'll let, me, you talk. You talk. let me just help you, sir. Yeah. And uh, Julie and Gail. Navy SEALs are the number one impersonated group in this nation professionally. Oh. Your chances of bumping into a living, breathing Navy SEAL are like bumping into Trump at uh, your local beer joint. I mean, well, there are fewer than 10,000 of us alive on this planet today since 1943 where we got our start. There are fewer than 10,000 men alive today. 2,500 of those guys are on active duty. My son is one of them. All my friends are. I retired from 24 years, and that is why I go after these guys. Not only is it the number one impersonated group in this nation, a lot of these guys are phony religious guys as well. They drop that ministry bomb. They drop the holy bomb, the Christian bomb. Uh, ChristianMingle.com is the worst dating website on this planet. Oh, uh, he must be a SEAL because he claims he's a Christian as well. And then they played into that greed card. And I could go, uh, this is all I do all day. Uh, I've done it for years. I have verified thousands upon thousands of these frauds. And it's always the same song and dance. And they will play to that greed card of these millions of dollars, tracheotomies, their daughters have cancer, uh, people killed in these tragic events. It's just, it never stops, sir. Uh, Julie, Gail, Kurt, you've been conned. It's an elaborate ruse, and that guy, uh, that's the way cons are. They are made to seem absolutely believable. They are perfected and perfected, and sociopaths and narcissists, if you and I get called out uh, for being a liar or we make a mistake and someone calls us out, uh, we're devastated by it. The sociopaths and narcissists only use that as a learning tool to better their bullshit. And they will build that story better and better. There's no telling how many people he's doing this to, but he is making a lot of money off it. He was never a SEAL. He's not interested in any ministry. I don't I doubt his father or anyone else has that. You're probably talking to a skinny Nigerian. Boy, oh boy, this is a... Uh, that's what we were kind of afraid of, but we want the best, of course, for our daughter, and we want her to be happy as can be and uh, she wants a Christian mate and um, I mean she went through a divorce recently with a guy that just wasn't good and now she thought she met a dream of her life and they were starting a new life and even looks at a picture they were considering of a beautiful house in Redding, California moving there. Oh yeah, I think we should put an, put an offer on that one. I mean they play, they make it sound so unbelievable but then he went I mean, they're tech, he's never, she's never heard his voice, and I said, I've got to hear his voice, get the phone number. Oh, he doesn't have a phone or something. I said, well, for 19 to 29.95, you can get one of those ones where you can put 100 or 200 minutes on it. When they run out, you add more to it. So he, tell him to do that in your text. 
And, and then I said, I want to also have the number of your mom, because we saw that picture, and it looked like he had, I don't know what, maybe two brothers and a sister or two, and the family, and, and uh, he was on there, and the dad had a tracheotomy and stuff. The mother kind of looked like him a little bit. But, yeah, it's not him, obviously, but, stolen you know, and the stolen pictures, obviously now, but it looked authentic, and but then nothing ever comes when I say, uh, get me her phone number, and maybe even the one uh, with even, the, you know, the grandfather's verify that you have two million dollars okay, even still with that kurt i dealt with a woman recently i'm so polished at this stuff uh she said he he calls me from a san diego number and i've talked to his sister in england and you can do anything on the uh, phone uh, today uh, the area codes that they can manipulate the uh, fake call screenings even the phone call is not good enough for the, whatever reason this guy will not call you because he's going to give himself up. And that's just the way this rolls. Even if he did call you today, sir, right, right. I would not send that clown a penny. Uh, you can contact me back, and I'll be happy to help you with this. But these romance scams, these dating website scams, uh, the military is a specific target now. Uh, they're all in Syria and Lebanon, and they need money to come home. Uh, you know, just I want to marry you. It's always a woman that has a couple of kids that is uh, uh, vulnerable uh, that they'll go after. And it's just, uh, I know it's hard to believe and I feel terrible for uh, Julie right now, but that's the way these cons are designed to do. They are believable. And then there's nothing there. So even if she pulls the plug on this guy and he gets back to her and he, he tells her another line of shit, uh, that's all it is. That's it's that's all it is. Yeah, it's it's incredible. And now, of course, and of course, uh, what was I going to say? He wanted uh, a while back. I don't know if it was eighteen or twenty-two thousand for that. And now the delegate was supposed to deliver over here. Realized, heard how much money it was, two million. So now he increased. He wants thirty-nine thousand instead of the eighteen or twenty-two thousand. No, I went to Georgia. Oh yeah, tell him that. Well, I, it's I, me, Julie. Yes, yes, Julie. Um. Yeah, long story, but I had I went to Atlanta, Georgia. He had me go there because he had to somehow get me some get me the money and be the beneficiary and stuff like that. And he was in Washington D.C. and he was gonna fly from the base because he had gotten out to Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and we were gonna meet there. And he was gonna be delivered the money and like his inheritance and all this stuff and um i actually went there and he never came but some guy came he was this big like african guy mm -hmm. and he was rolling this huge um safe um and he opened it and it was all tin foil wrap like money supposedly and and no and he took he took a sample and he was washing the money and washing it and processing it and then he showed that they're all defaced money defaced what does that mean Where? he said that no he said that's how the big rich people and you know can get money in and out of the country even trump and stuff right yes. without it being seen because without it being seen I yeah i didn't it. either but they erase it with some chemical solution and then if you wash it in water and different chemicals then then you can see the face I so it. i don't know how that happened well, i would try to google that i'll look at it but again it's all part of this and when you're talking about 20 or thirty thousand dollars there's a lot of guys out there that would do an awful lot of things with an awful lot of people to set some ruse up like that and, and get it. I've got a guy, I, my, my favorite story on all these guys is this uh, nut. He is a skinny, pasty, little Weasley prick. And I have YouTubed that clown before. I've spoke to him on the phone. He doesn't look anything like what you'd think a, a seal would look like. He is a Weasley, skinny-armed, slight, pasty face. And he has a number of people, doctors, psychiatrists, uh, very distinguished bankers, 
all of them believing that he killed bin Laden. And he was on the helicopter that crashed uh, in the compound with bin Laden, and they have to take him to a secret facility with very specialized doctors to pull out pieces of this helicopter that are still in his body because those pieces, these little tiny shrapnel pieces, are so sensitive. And he gets frequent text messages from Hillary Clinton promising him uh, them the $10, uh, $10 million. And if they'll all be patient and help pay into this while I wait for the government to reimburse me for killing bin Laden, we're all going to get rich. The doctor and the psychiatrist have both hung up on me on the phone. The guy's got a lengthy criminal record. I have his military records because there's none to uh, show. He's never served a single day in the military. He's a convicted felon about 20 times over. And he is so good that uh, they will hang up on the, on, the, uh, on the phone. It's just this elaborate ruse. They just keep giving him money, hoping that the plane is going to land today. And they all get together in these uh, little RVs, and they go out to the airport. And sure enough, when Hillary's about to get off the plane... He comes up with another excuse why the plane is going to land today, but be patient, give me some more money, and the text messages are from Hillary Clinton. They're not really, but it shows up like that because they manipulate this. You've been conned. There's no, there's no other way around it. I've, sometimes you just got to cut your losses. Uh, you can search me, look up what it is that I do. The database, I'll send you a point of contact at the Naval Special Warfare Command in San Diego who will verify the same information I did that uh, that guy was never a SEAL. We're not even sure of his name, so it's hard to even try to pull records, uh, military records for it. But uh, he's, a, he's a ghost. He's a, he's a con man. Yeah, he originally said his name was a little bit manipulated to Goodwin it was actually Goodwin McKinley Davis and then and then suddenly it becomes David McKinley no I've heard the last I've heard again I've heard the last I don't know what three three weeks maybe or so that he's coming today tomorrow oh he can't come until Friday and now, supposedly, he was maybe going to come this Friday. Of course, we're leaving, Mom and I, tonight. He would never come. But if he, uh, you know, we're not going to be here if, if somebody happened to show up, you know, and stuff. No. And I've heard a lot of these people are from, they don't want to talk to you because they got an accent from the Far East yes, or something. You know? absolutely, they do. Yeah. And they write, maybe uh, you could look back over your text messages or emails and get a drop of the Queen's English in there, a little bit of broken stuff, but these are those Nigerian scams, and while he's talking to uh, Julie, he's probably talking to 20 other women as well. They're elaborate. They go on for years and years uh, sometimes to build that trust and that faith in them, and then they get them. If you have a phone number for it, you got a number for that guy? No. Just texting all the time. I mean, I got, How do you I got get a text different. message without a phone number on it? Well, you can get text from, um, well, Facebook, first of all, and then Kick and Hangouts. It's in, like these instant messages. They don't need a phone number affiliated with that. You just need a phone and to use the app. I'm sorry, honey. I am a legit retired Navy SEAL who has access to the database, and you can search me. Uh, I can look up any SEAL since 1943. My son, all my friends, it's me and my wife, been married a long time uh, down here. In, uh, can, can you search just a date of birth? No. There's no reason. Listen to me, Ju Julie. Listen to me, honey. You got took. You've been conned by this guy. Do not look in the rearview mirror. Don't listen to any more of his stuff. I've got nothing to gain out of any of this. I'm telling you. Now, if you're wanting me to start looking at birth dates, girl, you, it's still not clicking. Your parents don't need uh, anyone else to be put out anymore or stressed anymore over this guy. He's a skinny Nigerian. That's all he is.
Mm-hmm. You know, he, he never comes. That's why I never get a phone. That's why I told Julie, text him that you, I'll send him a $20 bill or so to buy one of those ones where he can put 100 minutes on. I said, I want to talk to this guy. And he doesn't want to give his accent away, probably. And yeah. he never comes. He promises, oh, I'm there picking up my ticket to, today. And then something happens. Oh, I'm going to, I'm held in this or holding up my money, but I'm going to try to get it this week. And nothing ever happens. That goes. <laughs> It's just, I mean, real quick, uh, he had a neighbor here in the last year that was going to marry a Russian lady, uh, and they're communicating all the time, and he said he sent her $6,000 to get her airfare and all was over here and do it, <laughs> and then he said, and then he said, actually, I sent her 20000 and but she's coming on the plane tomorrow, and, and Luke said, I'll bet you'll get a call from her that she fell down and broke her, uh, her leg or, or her arm or a leg, I guess it was. And then he got a call the next day that she had fallen on the escalator uh, and broke her arm, not her leg, but I mean, so he can't come. So he wanted more money because she's going to be in the hospital and all that stuff. But, I mean, that's a, that's kind of a thing like this. <laughs> oh, my gracious. It is, and nobody needs to look in the rearview mirror, and nobody needs to be embarrassed. Uh, these are good cons. They're elaborate and uh, they're meant to deceive people right until somebody wakes up and when I got that call from Laura and I know you and uh, Gail Kurt have been out and Julie you're waking up now but you no matter what this guy says I don't I don't I'm just gonna put to you this way you can do whatever you want you can converse with him you can uh, try to believe him you can do anything do not send that guy another thin dime. You can play cat and mouse with him all you want. You can call me anytime and bounce off any SEAL training classes, any SEAL teams, any deployments, Iraq, Afghanistan, any any of that, any other names of his friends. And none of it's going to come up, but I'll be happy to do it for you. But do yourself a favor. Do not send him one more thin dime. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. And my la- well, my question, right, thank you so much. My question is, so, I mean, at this point, what do you do? There's nothing. You just cut your losses. There's absolutely nothing to do. No, you can't gonna, track these people down. You're going to learn from this. And it's like a lot of but, uh, charities but how, that I how get. How do they get, you know, account information? Like, how do you deposit money into this person's account or this person's account and like yeah and how can you not track that down if you have their account number and where you deposit it how can that not be discovered and traceable sure it can but try to get somebody to pay attention to it if you have the account numbers you can go and do whatever but when these uh, things are in these crappy little African countries in the Sudan uh, wherever they are overseas these are how these things go they're postal (laughs) scams paypal scams mailing scams international here all you got to do is do what this guy has asked you to do take a few lines of some of that uh, and search it on the internet search romance scams uh, money scams military scams nigerian scams dating website scams that's how we all know what a scam is and you know, that's why Geraldo Rivera has a job, you know, I'm doing this and you know, all kinds of guys. You go on Oprah with this, but there's very little any of these uh, guys can do. They're, they're not going to launch an international manhunt for this guy. Yeah, yeah. that's how we get by with it. My sister, my sister is still like, how oh, is an American bank and it was his name, his name? other people's names I don't know why you gonna anyway she's she sold her house she's taken out loans she maxed out her credit cards oh I'm her other sister so she's probably put in probably close to like over a hundred thousand to this man and then borrowed fifty thousand from my parents gave that over equity from the um, yeah every dollar she made from the house personal loans uh, her credit yeah her her credit shot and she took cash advances on like 35,000 of her credit cards and personal loans she can't even rent a house because no one will rent to her because of her credit 
You just simply need to Google this stuff, and it's a lesson learned. And that's what we've been doing, and we were trying, and she, she wouldn't listen to us. She's like, no, no, there are scams out there, but this is real. Yes, well, they're designed to be real. And that's yeah, the problem, and you're, my your, your sister's not dumb. These are elaborate ruses that are perfected, absolutely perfected. They prey on yeah. every little bit of her vulnerabilities and her... Uh, you know, having the two children and her Christian background, everything she did. It's just going to yeah. be, you know, the glass slipper. You know, I'm going to give you the glass yeah. slipper that never comes. And people fall yeah. for them. That's how I got involved dealing with these guys. I've dealt with these guys. I've been taken. Yeah. Not to that extent, yeah. girl, but yeah. I got so angry and that I started going after these guys. And I'm well known for it. Yeah, yeah she's so... Uh she was so anxious to have someone really love her again. Her husband was quite a jerk anyway in a lot of ways. So so she wanted somebody to love her and a Christian fellow with a decent job and all that stuff. So she fell for this guy. But nothing, like I said, you told him nothing ever comes through true that he's saying and everything's tied up and more money for this and more money for the delegates to go and plead his case. And I mean, I told her it just sounds stupid. Oh, absolutely not a scam. I'll guarantee it. Oh. That's what we're worried about it. Thank you for all the information. Uh, Julia doesn't know quite what to do. She had tears and everything else. Well, but just, I could, yeah. okay. you guys can contact me anytime. Uh, Julie can contact me here with any other things. She can go along with some of this stuff, but just don't give him any more money. He has got more than enough. Yeah. 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 Well, I, she, I just don't want her, you know, to get sucked back in. And I mean, my parents were down last week meeting with their uh, financial advisor to give her another forty or fifty thousand. Yeah. And I, and my my dad my dad would not and they, they, he was like no 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 we trust our daughter blah 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 and I'm like dad you don't understand he's like but it's his picture I saw his picture and then we saw this picture and all of these pictures look like the same guy I'm like it is the same guy. And he's, and my dad's like, but you said it wasn't the guy. I'm like, it's not that guy. His, the, some of these pictures are stolen. And I'm like yes. showing them on social media. Yes. I'm like going like, look, this person is not my friend. I'm pressing down. I'm copying their photo. Now in a matter of, you know, one minute, I have 20 of their actual pictures yes. of their friends, of their families. I can yes. dole these out and I can pretend to be this person. They're always good-looking guys, and I told Laura oh, one of my yeah. favorite ones is they will send these pictures from yeah. overseas, Iraq, Afghanistan, with their buddies, a group photo, mm -hmm. and he is holding up a picture, you know, David, saying, you know, I love you, Julie, marry me. And oh, she's yeah. like, she sent me this picture, this is him, You're, and, and she was getting mad at me. I was like, girl, look at that picture closely. He doesn't have any fingers on one hand. He photoshopped exactly. that into the picture. You know, exactly. they, they, they have printers, uh, computer programs today. It's so dangerous. I don't yeah. think Julie for a minute is going to let go of this guy right now. The yeah. curiosity is going to get the best of her, and she can horse around with this guy, but no more money for anything. I don't think yeah. she's just going to go cold turkey. Uh, yeah. on this and good for her learn a little bit more from it contact me anytime you want but uh yeah. no more money i mean she had she had my parents she and then she would like threaten them with uh, committing suicide and then they'd like give her more money no no don't commit suicide what do you mean it's like money yeah. and then they'd give her more money and then she'd be fine and then all of a sudden it was like a week later, I need more money. I'm going to commit suicide. You know what I mean? And I'm going. I give. I have to call the police and like. I was, you know, telling them like, what, what can I do? She's scammed. Like, I don't think she doesn't think she's scamming my parents, but she is. And I'm like, she'll take them to the cleaners without even, without a hesitation because she believes this with one million percent conviction. You know. That it, this is just, you know, this is realer than real. It's what she's based for the last year of her life on. Yeah. How long ago did that thing happen in Atlanta with that black guy in the safe? Last, uh, uh, Julie, when did you go to Atlanta last summer? No. I thought it was something recent. Maybe the cameras would be there. Maybe that would help if this was set up again. 
that I want to see that guy again in, in the, the airport the with the safe yeah. and the money. And if she had the police there and they had surveillance cameras and they would get that guy, you know, now that's a that's a bit of a start. There was somebody was in a else. Hotel room. He met her in a private hotel room, so there won't be a video camera in the hotel room. And I thought he yeah. met her at the airport or something. Um, supposedly this guy went back to the airport. Okay, uh, then we got to be careful out there, girls. They, yeah. No, no private hotel rooms or anything. But if there is somebody else involved in this, and there, there could be a, a potential sting involved for the police. You guys are out a lot of money. You could involve the police. You could lure him back to that, and then they would at least get that guy and have yeah. a good look it's at everything not gonna else. Get her, they're not going to get her any money back. And I was reading articles, and they said a lot of times it's like crime networks that like fuel terrorism and stuff. Bad stuff. Bad stuff. You know, yeah, really bad. I mean, all types of the spectrum. I have emails recently from a diplomat who supposedly went from Massachusetts to San Francisco to drop off a parcel, and then he was going to head here to Maui to drop off David McKinley's parcel to me, which he made me the beneficiary, supposedly. But the diplomat guy, Dr. Frederick Diesel, couldn't get through San Francisco Customs because the paperwork was officially transferred to my name, Julie Meyer. So they wanted $39,140 to transfer the paperwork into my name so that he can get on a plane and bring the money for like $2 million something to me in Maui. And then McKinley was going to follow me because McKinley's in Massachusetts being held by the U.S. government after he was released from the Navy after months and months and months and a lot of money. And, um, and but he was, after he was cleared from the Navy, they, they, and he went to Massachusetts where his dad was assigned, the, the guarantor had signed basically for him to get out, supposedly. Yeah, then he uh, got captured by the, the U.S. government and hold, held captive for the last week because they found that he pulled out a lot of cash. And so then they were investigating him because yeah. they thought he tried to get out of the Navy the Navy, in order to gain access to this money. No. So they were trying to see if it was... The Navy money. SEAL team is a, a little Navy all on its own. And it's a very forgiving place. Uh, they're very understanding and the Navy itself and the entire US military have what's called hardship discharges and if you are just your family is hurting and you're the breadwinner of that and you're just needed they will let you go there's no legislation involved in any of that in SEAL team you know you serve 10 years as a SEAL and you're it is understanding as a small a unit as we are Everybody knows everybody. They would just, good luck, man. Go go get it done. They'd just sign the papers and let you go. Now, these legislators mm -hmm. and all this, it's just crap, girl. It's just total crap. Yeah, I met him supposedly when he was stationed in South Sudan no. back in, like, July. Sudan. Okay, you, you for, failed to mention Sudan. If you'd have mentioned Sudan a little bit earlier... You and me would have uh, nipped this in the bud real quick. All you got to do is uh, search uh, some of the Sudan uh, scams that go on. There's no American troops stationed in the Sudan like that. There's no definitely no SEALs over there. But yeah. uh, for some reason, they use that Sudan. Yeah, South Sudan. Hell, I think I even mentioned that earlier. No, no, no. No, absolutely not. And no. Then he There's no in SEALs. Nigeria. After that, Nigeria. he and find his friend, Philip, who was um, beat up on the side of the road and left for death. We're getting right into Ni Africa there, where these scams are, Nigeria, Sudan. Look up Sudan, and then, Sudan and then, scams, Sudan military scams. You'll well, be I have, but he's really good, very charming. Okay, well, he's everything. not anymore. Now you've got him. And yeah. he's not charming. Well, I just he's... could never pinpoint anything. And every time I brought up these concerns 
everything like that, he would just, you know, that he had a good, a good story, you yes. know, and it made me want to not give up on him. There you go. And, you know, well, I'm there. sorry, but that's what it, uh, that's what it was. And now you need to, but they're, they're made to be believable. Yeah, they're very believable. And then he went from Nigeria to Massachusetts to his family for a few days. Then he drove up to the base in Massachusetts. And then that's where he got held kind of captive again, not like a criminal, but just held and there was more fees involved to release him. Then they flew him to Washington, D.C., where they held him this whole time. And, and <coughs> they've been charging him a lot of money to <coughs> file paperwork or, or different fees, different cer cer to get a service certificate that he served and all this stuff. I'm pretty sure there's no naval bases in Massachusetts. Northern, I don't know, Northern Massachusetts. Yeah. But there's no SEAL bases, uh, certainly. So I'm not quite sure, but the whole thing, you know, just, it's... Mm -hmm. And then, he's personally in Massachusetts, and he was going to come here, but no. he went to the bank and finally got access to all his money. There's no even, and there's no Navy bases in Massachusetts. There's a... Air Force Reserve Base, a Coast Guard base, a National Guard base, and uh, that's it. And it's just all—it's just all a lie. And that's where Google comes in uh, pretty handy. But yeah, Goodwin. His name was Goodwin McKinley David. No. I—I uh, I hope I help. Please don't send that clown any more money. And 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 trust that I'm telling you that I don't have anything in this uh, for myself. Yeah. I just got the but, phone call. I verified these claims. I feel terrible for the families and the people that are involved. Oftentimes people say that the stolen valor is a victimless crime. They're harmless barroom loudmouths. And, you know, now we see, you know, certainly that they're not. So I'm the guy that has nothing to gain from this. I'm never going to ask you for anything. I'm simply telling you in my experience, which has gone on for a very, very long time and exposing thousands of these clowns, to get on Google, search the Sudan military scams, search Nigerian military scams, dating website scams, and uh, and uh, mm -hmm. don't give that guy another dollar, okay? Okay, well, thank you for everything. I'm trying not to be emotional, but... I know you're, I know you're feeling bad, and it's okay. It happens to us all. You caught it. So, have a good thank night, you. everyone. Okay, you too. Thanks so much. You're very welcome, honey. Sleep tight. Thanks. Elaborate. Absolutely elaborate. They prey on... People for whatever they need. If they can find a little thing in you, and that's where they are on these dating websites. They're looking for lonely women, and they have specific targets. If you're a single mother, you're divorced, down in your luck a little bit, and they can play that romance card and just start picking at you a little bit, just to see what you're made of. To anything. It's just not women. Guys get scammed all the time. Guys, gals, very educated people. Just, yeah. That's how a scam works. It's people who make a living preying off your vulnerabilities. And it's hard. I feel terrible for that family. 150,000 houses. Can't even rent. Single mother, two kids. Terrible.